Welcome to the How to Write a Book podcast, the show that helps you plan, write, and publish your book, even if you're a beginner or just feel like one. Now, for your host, she's written over a dozen books and helps others bring their books to life. Here she is, Maciel. Hey, everyone. Hey, everyone. Oh, my gosh. Welcome back. Welcome back to the How to Write a Book podcast, y'all. Um, this is just super exciting. Hey, I know. So we had a last episode where we um, talked about the updates on the business side for Black Heart Story Studios, which is my company name um, and where it's going, um, merging that with production. Um, and it has been very, very cool, very interesting. I've been making some connections as far as like where we're going to be going next, what projects I'll be working on, and also getting some creative feedback on um, some projects that I want to start pursuing uh, maybe mid to late next year, 2022. So, yeah. I'm so excited because in this episode, we are going to be talking about launching a book. Yes. Oh my gosh. Now I know some of you are into indie publishing or you just want to know like, what are the ins and outs of it? Um, and it's going to be very cool because we're going to be talking about launching a book because one of my clients books is launching on September 10th, a Friday of 2021, which is just around the corner. Um, and I am more than excited y'all. Why am I so excited? Well, one, because I love all of my clients and I love when we really get um, a chance to just realize the dream, right? I mean, it's about reaching that dream. It's amazing. Um, It's so, man, it's so filling when I have these milestones with my clients, big milestones, smaller milestones, um, and not, uh, there's like no milestone that's more important than the other because you need those smaller ones in order to get to the big ones. And the big one really is an accumulation of the small ones. So it is beyond excitement when I get to do this. So um, for anyone who um, just wants to know quickly about, you know, our side and the business side, I've been focused mainly on clients um, instead of social media, um, as well as fixing my own books. So um, for anybody listening out there, I still need to go back and fix the books that I've published. Um, And we've talked about that in a couple couple different episodes, which was um, self-sabotage, having these negative thoughts. Um, And um, if you listen to one of the previous episodes, you know that somebody important to me passed away. And, um, you know, in 2020, I thought that my biggest regret was like, oh my gosh, I've published books that are um, subpar because I know that I've done better and I've done it before and multiple times. But when I actually came to doing my own name, my pen name instead of other people um, or my own pen name, um, I just totally sabotage myself. But you know what? It took a minute to forgive myself and to say, okay, you know what? We're going to fix it. But y'all, life has happened. And I have not had a chance to go back and fix these. Um, no joke. And I'm just like, you know, I need to like take them down or something. And I haven't even had a moment to do that. And I probably should now that I'm talking about it even more out loud. Um, but the biggest writing regret really has been not getting um, that book completely finished and those books completely finished that are under my name. Because the person who I lost actually was um, my uncle, amazing uncle, who believed in me, has always believed in me, and he was just so excited. I mean, like, literally, it felt like years, y'all. Just so excited to have that book in his hands, and he wanted to write a book with me. Um, and I will talk about him in a separate episode. I think it's still a little bit fresh for me, a little bit hard for me to process that. Um, and as I'm sure you know, dear friend, you know, when we experience these things in our lives, there's a moment of clarity that we go through that tells us that um, the things that we've been focusing on are inconsequential compared to the things that really matter. And if you, dear friend, are on the fence about, you know, putting your work out there or if you're scared you're going to get rejection, um, you know what? All that pain, and it probably will happen, (laughs) the the pain at least, I don't know about the rejection, (laughs) but the pain um, is going to be worth having the no regrets because the, the pain of having that regret is far outweighing any of the rejection or the reviews that I deserved because I put up subpar work out there. Um, and, you know, just feeling like I wasn't going to be good enough. All of that is minuscule compared to knowing that I can never give my uncle that physical book that he was so excited about. So excited to see my name on the cover. So excited to see the inscription. Waiting and waiting. Always asking me, you know, just pretty much telling me like, hey, I can't wait to see it. Um, and I'll talk more about that in another episode, uh, but, um, 
so message to you, dear friend, if you're on the fence about it, today's the day. Go for it. Um, all right, y'all. So now let's dive in. All right. So we're celebrating uh, my client's launch. Now, you've heard about her in this podcast before, and I'm going to have her on the show, actually. I'm really excited to actually drop that episode. But until that day comes, um, I wanted to actually do this before I got her onto the show. And the reason for that is because I wanted to talk with you about launching. Um, I thought that that would be helpful for you, especially because it's been fresh off of this launch. Um, and I'm really excited still about everything that we've been able to conquer, especially with the hurdles that have been going on. Um, so y'all, it's exciting. And if you know me, you know that I'm a f- oh, fan and friend of Trish Blackwell, um, my longtime friend now, and also my confidence coach for years. Um, And y'all, we launched her book. Her latest book, uh, which is called Straighten Your Crown, um, is going to be hitting shelves on September 10th on Amazon, as well as physical copies in um, other stores worldwide. And it is amazing to see, you know, what we started with and where we're ending here. And this journey has been one heck of a journey. It has been brilliant and also scary at the same time. Uh, But I would say that it's been a very good success. And she's very happy with the results. And I'm happy that she's happy. Um, And it's been just an honor to go through this. Um, Especially, you know, when you have somebody in your life who not only do you adore, but you're, you know, just you want the best for them. You know, you're like, oh, I want to make this so amazing for you. Like, everybody's book is important. Uh, But there was just that extra level of like, okay, all right, let's do this. That was added to... um, this particular mixing pot. And that made it a lot more exciting as well. So, um, and also really intense for me. Uh, but it's always my own self pressure. And, and my dear friend, I think you're the same way. Like if you're a writer, you're probably plagued by these thoughts as well, where you're like, like, oh my gosh, it's not good enough. Oh, that sentence doesn't work. Oh, this character is just completely flawed. I can't fix them even if I wanted to. Um, so we're all very hard on ourselves as writers. So let's dive into launching. And now one of the cool things I'm going to be doing um, this year is we're going to talk about launching a, a really in-depth level. Um, But one of the things that I want to know from you, dear listener, uh, dear writer, is what do you want to know about next? Um, So one of the things that has been on the back burner is actually uh, teaching like smaller courses, Um, like just kind of having like these tidbits, essentially like mm, bite-sized miniature courses that you can take with you um, that I can dive into, um, you know, whether that could be like how to make physical copies, um, how to launch a book, um, getting onto like podcasts, uh, things like that. Um, let me know. Please let me know. Uh, feel free to email me at Maciel at, oh gosh, wow, I totally forgot my handle there. Maciel at blackheartedstudios.com or um, you can uh, DM me on Instagram. Um, that would be Maciel Writes at Maciel Writes. So it's M A S S I E L W R I T E S. Um, all right, everybody. Um, let's go ahead. Now, launching a book, what does launching a book mean? Launching a book is essentially the day that your book is available to everyone. Um, and when you launch a book, It's kind of like the announcement. It's like giving birth to that amazing bundle of joy that is from your creative mind. Um, So, um, of course, without the uh, labors and pain, that also goes from physical uh, birth. So that aside, let's do the emotional experience. Um, It is literally telling the world, here's my book. I have poured my blood, sweat, and tears into this. Now you can order it uh, if you would like, dear sir or madam. Um, and it's a very special day because especially if this is your first book or if this is a big book for you, um, a deep book like for Trish, um, it was a deep book. Um, it was actually her third book. She's gone with other publishers before, but for this book, she she's asked me, she's like, do you want to take charge of this? And I was like, well, happily, yes, I do. So I was super excited and it was turned out really good. Um, but it was an honor to be like, oh, she's like going to like, you know, turn to me instead of these other publishers. And I'm like, yeah, because we're a publisher too. Um, in case you guys didn't know that we do publish books for other people. So, um, oh gosh, now I just got super excited. Um, so when you get to, to launch a book, you know, you drop it in that day of, and uh, for Trisha's book, it was more a, a heavier book because of the message inside. Um, so, you know, hey, if you are a, a woman of faith um, who wants to heal from trauma, who wants to know that you are seen, you were heard, you were loved by God, um, this book might be might be for you. And especially because it does cover um, topics that are hard. Um, they are triggering, but they're needed because, I mean, one in three women um, go through the events that like Trish has gone through. Um, and it's so important to hear it from somebody who understands where you're coming from, um, somebody who can understand the emotional depth of what happens to you, you know, during certain traumatic events. Um, and really 
when you come out the other side of that and who you are as a person and how you are worthy, you are worthy now, you are worthy then, you are worthy, you know, throughout all of your life. And this is a message that I absolutely love and adore. So it was easy to jump on board with that. Um, so um, if you feel like this would pertain to you, hey, go go ahead and look for Straighten Your Crown by Trish Blackwell. I think it would be a life-changing book for you. Um, it has been for me just reading it. Um, and so I was also part of the editing process, um, but I was a book coach for the launch itself uh, because Trish is a writer. She has always been writing. Um, and so uh, uh, that part was already handled. And this launch part uh, was very precious because we were doing it all on our own, essentially me as a publishing company and the people who helped me out um, instead of going through some other third parties. Um, so with the book launch of September 10th, what's going to be happening is that her Kindle edition as well as online ebook stores will drop as well as the physical copy, which is a beautiful copy. I really love it. I think it's super nice. Um, can't wait to show that on Instagram at some point. Um, and uh, it has like just a nice, beautiful, beautiful finish to it. Um, so it's all been very cool, but it also has been very stressful. But before I go into the components of that, let's actually go into the components of launching a book. What are the main components of launching a book? Now, why is it when I say stressful? Um, just because I'm a recovering perfectionist and I'm like, it has to be perfect. <laughs> so that's why. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into the components of launching a book. Now, um, one of the key things about launching a book is organization. Um, there isn't a, like a secret formula. Um, I think that um, a lot of authors out there, especially experienced indie authors, they know what the formula is generally. Um, There are some adaptations depending on who the author is. So if you're a brand new author, you might have a little bit of a different approach at the beginning of your launch. Um, And then as you go through your launch phase, then that will be pretty much the same as other launch phases. Um, But if you are a a big author or somebody who's already has a big wide audience, um, you might have a different beginning and then the rest of the phase will look similar. Um, And so when it comes to launching a book, what you want to do is you really want to not only use your circle of people who can help you, but you want to amplify and get into other people's radars. And now when you do this, um, it's not about saying, hey, you buy my book, you know, even though we would love to do that. (laughs) It's about getting people to know you. So in a lot of ways, um, launching a book is like a business where you are inviting people into your circle. You're inviting people into your message. um, And this message is about leading that person to your book. So that's how the launch is in general. And what I mean by this is that you actually want to start off with um, offers and free pages and um, anything else that would pertain to your type of audience. So depending on what kind of book you are uh, launching, if it's a fiction and a nonfiction book, and of course the subgenre, the genres within those, then you might create different landing pages or freebies um, or just gifts for your audience, depending on who you're trying to meet. Now, the things that you want to consider for your launch is, um, for example, um, launch day, you know, what are you going to happen? What's going to happen that day? Um, Amazon administrative stuff, you know, um, Amazon is really like the big kahuna, essentially. Um, you have other online retail stores and there's some really great ones out there, but at this current moment, Amazon is still the dominating one. It's, it is going huge. And now one of the things I want to drop here right now is like, it looks, it looks like things are, are shifting, not from Amazon, but from medium. So we're going from written medium to more visual mediums. If you notice like comics are starting to really rise, um, interactive novels like that are starting to rise. So just a heads up y'all, if you want to start getting on that train, I think you see that, that, that is shifting towards that direction. Um, but as far as the ebook side, Amazon really is still the big giant. Um, and to launch your book through Amazon is, um, in my, my professional opinion, the best way to do that. Um, other things that you want to consider, um, is book finalization. Um, so we hit a lot of hiccups regarding formatting, um, audiobook files. Um, and so the people that um, were part of the team, either had run into issues such as like the audiobook person actually lost all the files, which was a big thing. <laughs> um, that was insane because uh, it's several, several, several hours of work. Um, and then our proofreader, not proofreader, sorry, the book formatter disappeared, totally disappeared from the project. And we're like, where did you go? Um, so hopefully that person's all right. Um, but that was early on in the process. So we were actually able to do it ourselves to format the book so that it could be the printable edition that it is now. Other things that you want to um, consider are 
newsletter marketing, a social media marketing, um, promotions on podcasts, you know, for example, or Instagram lives with people who are influencers, um, editing and proofreading. You want to make sure that book looks good, feels good. Um, it's, um, going to uh, convert well across all platforms. So, you know, even if your Word doc looks good, it also needs to convert well onto an EPUB so that you can upload it um, to Kindle, for example. Um, and then, of course, that's going to take a different whole um a shift when it comes to physical, you know, because physical needs to also be formatted as well. You know, or do you want to have physical look different from print um, drastically or just a little bit? Um, so those are things to consider, especially um, other launching parts, which is like street teams, your book squad, you know, who's going to help you out. Um, and then your freebies, your landing pages. Are you going to do an audiobook companion or are you going to do a workbook companion? Um, is it going to be the same version or something different? Um, so there's some things that you should take care of um, and just think of ahead of time. And always, always, always a buffer time. Um, so I now have a big, complicated, very nice professional spreadsheet of the whole book launch um, with different components. And uh, now they're different estimated timelines because, um, you know, Sometimes, you know, you have somebody helping you out and that person might lose all the files, just like as we talked about. And you have to have that buffer so you can make sure everything um, gets together all at once. Um, In addition to that, you know, having your books be linked together, you know, so that you don't have an audiobook that is hard to find because it's literally the companion to the physical book or the ebook that you have. Um, So those are some things to consider. And of course, we could go into those like specifically in other episodes, but let me know. I would love for you to drop me a line. So if you, if you have a question for the podcast, if you're, if you have a writer's block, dear friend, um, if you feel like, I really want to know this one thing, please feel free to ping me um, either Instagram or the email that I mentioned earlier, Maciel at blackheartedstudios.com. That's probably the easiest way to reach me. Um, So thank you for that. Now we're going to move on to the next section of this, which is um, some hurdles that we face and things that I'm also excited about that I think you can be excited about too, because you can take that and incorporate it into your future launch. So some of the hurdles that we face that we talked about um, is, yeah, the book formatter um, disappeared. Um, So online, at least they were online online person. Um, and so they never responded. Um, maybe they dropped the project, not totally sure. Um, so, uh, that was definitely a, oh, that was, threw a fork into the situation. <laughs> so I was like, is it, is the phrase fork or a screwdriver or a wrench? It's a wrench. There you go. It's a wrench. Wow. I totally had that metaphor wrong. Um, so that was definitely kind of complicated. Um, but what we were able to do is literally learn it ourselves. We learned it ourselves. So now my team and myself knows how to format a book physically, um, because we had to, you have to, when you're kind of trying to step up your game, um, the audiobook files had to redo them, but we had some buffer time, which was fantastic. Um, and the physical copies were one of the hardest parts, which was, um, just trying to get that all set up within a system that we liked that we approved of, um, that was going to, um, have reasonable fees, um, and still public publish in the channels that we wanted, which we did find. And that was actually, um, in Graham spark, everybody, that was uh, the final resolution. I was very happy with it. The customer service was kind of delayed. Um, essentially Ingram spark has a high learning curve, but once you do know that learning curve, then it's like, okay, now I can do this. So not sponsored anyway by Ingram spark, but Hey, maybe I'll reach out to them after this because I was uh, overall satisfied with what they could do. And what we're most excited for really is, um, where this is going to go, you know, so Trish Blackwell's book of straighten your crown. Um, it has a very powerful message. I absolutely love it. Um, and this is what I work with my clients. Um, a lot of my clients, um, are surprisingly nonfiction, um, which I think is fantastic because I get to hear their stories. Um, I have a client who's working on, you know, her past and her trauma and how that led her to, uh, be a Christian. That was really, it's really interesting. I mean, it's, it's deep. And, um, sometimes when I'm reading it, I'm like, Ooh, wow, I need to just take a break. Um, but, I know that women go through this, you know, I know that people go through this, you know, all genders, they go through, um, uh, these moments of, of trauma. And so it's just super important that we share this message out there because so people know that they're not alone and they know how they can heal from it or some ideas for how they can heal from it. I also have another, um, writer who's also working on something similar. So that's, that's really, it's really cool to be part of these stories. Um, and, 
also empowering to see them rise up um, from their ashes and, and to say, Hey, I'm going to share my story because it's important. I'm like, yes, it is. Yes, it is important. I also have a suspense slash thriller writer who is, I think she's crushing it. Everybody. She's doing super fantastic. And, um, I love where her book is going. Um, I love how, she's having a lot of fun and especially because she just had a baby her baby is like now five months old and she's been writing this whole time like meeting her weekly deadlines showing up and you all again you know going back to having that you know forgiveness on yourself you know sometimes we have to push a date maybe by a day or two but she's showing up she's showing up for herself and saying i'm gonna make this work and i'm like yes i'm here for your journey so um i'm i'm 